Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody left me a message. How do you do a set of six numbers with a gradient color, say purple down to orange, with a white outline and a drop shadow, and then cut contour around the whole thing to print and cut? Well, I think I nailed it. Now my cut line might be too far off, but that can be remedied. And I put the yellow background just so you could see it does have a white background. This is relatively easy, except for the drop shadow does not. I'm just going to type out four numbers. I'm going to make them a bolder number so they'll have some of, uh, so you can um, see the gradient color a little bit. I'm going to turn them to purple. And then I'm going to get the interactive fill tool and I'm going to start at the top and go to the bottom. And then I'm going to go right here. Of course, I'm going to, he's printing, so he might use CMYK. And then we're going to go to an orange. And that's how you get the gradient color I think he's talking about. Now, we could go ahead and give it an outline. And you're not going to be able to see it for a while. Let's do eight points in white. You won't be able to see it yet. And then do the outline. Here's the kind of tricky part. I'm going to control D and make a duplicate of this. And I'm going to move it out of the way for a second. Then I'm going to take my drop shadow tool. And I'm just going to make a drop shadow, say, like right in there. Now I'm going to grab it all. And I'm going to go to object and break the drop shadow apart. If you try to put a border around this, the drop shadow just doesn't work. And that may be where his problem is. So I'm going to take this and put it on top of my drop shadow. And then with my nudge factor set on like six inches, I'm going to nudge that out of the way. And then I'm going to nudge my drop shadow out of the way. And then I'm going to nudge this back. Now I need to convert them to a curve because it is a text. And then I can select them all and do a boundary tool do that out of the way. We can go in just delete this now and then nudge this back to where it was. We're going to take this item right here and we're going to go to effects and contour and we're going to contour the outside 0.5 this time and see what happens. That looks pretty good. We're going to go to object and break the contour part. Now there's going to be some inner parts that we can get rid of. And it is, no matter where I nudge it, I can always nudge it back. So then I'd go to object and break the curve apart. And you don't have to select a, one of these objects. You could just leave them laying there and just go to your back and nudging and then nudge it up. And then that should print and cut out. Now, if you need it closer to the letters, that could be done too. I'm hoping that's what he was asking. Anyway, and then, well, let's put a yellow box around it. Let's just borrow this one because it's already on the back of the page. And you can see my letters, well, they don't have a white background yet. Grab them. Maybe they do. You just, oh, it's a hairline. Let's make it eight point. Let's make it even more than that so you could see it better. So now we have a white outline around a purple and orange color with a sh shadow effect. I'm hoping that's what he's asking. If, if it's not, he knows how to get a hold of me. Hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.